and its good benefits can they help developing countries to alleviate poverty as we all know that globalization on its own as an economic reform has both short-run and long-run effect one of the short-run and long-run effect is that it is believed that globalization helps the flow of resources in terms of capital and labor we, as explained within the framework of HRU factor endowment theory. However, despite the advocacy of the long and short term impact of globalization and growth on poverty across the globe, empirical investigations have shown diverse results. Similarly, the exploration of literature revealed that there is no empirical verification has been done on globalization, growth, and poverty in India. So, as a result of this, this study investigates the inconclusiveness of globalization, growth, and poverty nexus that exists with reference to India. However, this study specifically confirms globalization led growth hypothesis and also further investigates how globalization amidst increasing, how growth with increasing globalization, how have they impacted poverty in India. Basically, this on the multidimensionality of poverty measurement across the globe, we adopt the Poverty Headcount Index as developed by World Bank for our data to measure poverty. And in addition, we decompose poverty into two, into the monetary and non-monetary. So the monetary is poverty headcount, while the non-monetary we use life expectancy and infant mortality rate to measure poverty. So in this regard, we formulate a baseline model, which is displayed on the screen where we have poverty being dependent of globalization, economic growth, and some set of control variables. Basically, the scope of our study covers a span of 40 years from 1981 to year 2020, and we use the autoregressive distributed lag model to estimate our model as the econometric technique. And as a result of that, we develop the ARDL model fashion of the equation one we specified earlier and the table we have on the right hand side shows how those uh, variables are measured and their sources of data so now to the result and discussion basically the ARDL model what the ARDL model does is that it check for long run and short run result and also check for the existence of long run result among the model so basically with our model with our baseline model we have four models the first model is that we use that to verify the relationship between globalization and economic growth and the other thing is to check the impact of globalization on poverty using poverty headcount, infant mortality rate and life expectancy. So the results from the bound test show that one, it shows that there is no long run relationship between globalization and economic growth in India and also it shows that there is a relationship that it shows that the relationship between globalization and poverty headcount in India is inconclusive. However. The bound test also showed that globalization has a long run impact on infant mortality rate and life expectancy in India. Furthermore, we estimated the short run estimates for model 1 and 2. And basically, for model 1 and 2, what we see is that the first one is that globalization and domestic investment increases economic growth in India, while government expenditure and pass value of GDP they retard economic growth in India. Furthermore, looking at the first model of poverty, it shows that globalization and domestic investment do not act, do not have significant impact on poverty account, while economic growth and government capital expenditure significantly increases poverty account. And on the third and fourth model, the we are we show the long run results because those one there is a long run relationship between poverty and and globalization. And from that, what we see is that globalization significantly reduces infant mortality rate. Why economic growth and domestic investment does not significantly increase, reduce infant mortality. And on the other part of life expectancy, the research shows that globalization and economic growth significantly increases life expectancy. That is, as globalization increases, life expectancy also increases in India. And on the other hand, it shows that government capital expenditure and domestic investment they reduce life expectancy in India. So conclusively from our result, it is shown that, that from conclusion from our result, there is evidence of globalization-led growth hypothesis in India, and also we confirm that there is interconnectedness among globalization, growth, and poverty in India. And this proves the GDP triangular nexus we developed for our study. 
and also globalization and growth. They both have positive near. They, they both have positive near future impact on poverty in India. So, based on our findings and conclusion, we recommend that firstly that policy makers in India they should make globalization they should make globalization poor poor in India so that globalization will be able to benefit the poor and this can be achieved by encouraging foreign direct investment as channel to areas in which employment can be generated to the poor and secondly we recommend that since there is ambiguity between the relationship between globalization and poverty we recommend that the government also should develop a poor poor measure of strategy in, in which in order to make globalization to benefit the poor thank you for listening